Hello guys, in this video you are going to learn Nuke interface and introduction to nodes. I am going to use Nuke X 11.3 for the whole series but you can work on any version of the Nuke and follow along. So let's start. If you are total new to Nuke, don't worry, after this video you will be easily navigating through the software. Here in Nuke we got different sections, so let's cover up. First we have all the general menu. In top, file where you can create new file, save file, open the recent files and some common functions. In the edit, we got cut, copy, paste like things. These all things have their shortcuts, so we use the shortcuts only. And in the edit, we also got the preferences, where we can adjust our cache size and other new customization settings. Then comes the workspace. Nuke is totally customizable. Here you can customize the Nuke interface. Either you can choose it from these 6 default Nuke workspaces, just click on any of the workspaces to go inside that. Let's come back to compositing. You can also customize the Nuke by yourself. Just click on any panel and drag it around the windows. So by this you can totally customize the Nuke interface according to your need. So if things get messy in Nuke interface, so you can also reset it from here. Next we got Weaver. It is not often used, as all the work we do from the node graph. Then we have the render tab. First option is the proxy mode. It will enable the viewer to play the sequence in a low resolution. Next is the render all write nodes. This will render out all the write nodes available in your comp. If you notice, all the shortcuts have their shortcuts mentioned after their titles. Next to render, we got cache. When nuke start lagging, it's better to clear all the caches from here. To clear cache, just click on this clear all and that's it. And the last is help. Here you can access all the shortcuts nuke supports and some important links. And this next tab is the plugin. Then we have the viewer, where we gonna see our video sequences. It is a player, we can play it forward, backward or frame by frame. In the left side, we have toolbar where we can access all the nodes available in Nuke. Nuke put all the nodes in different categories that you can see in this menu. Like the first category which is image. In here we have read, write, viewer and some other nodes. Read node basically used for importing your sequence or any other passes and write node is used to export the work from Nuke. And viewer is to view the node. Then we have the draw category. As the name says, we can find nodes related to draw. Like we have roto, roto paint node, grid, light wrap, noise and some other nodes available in the draw category. Similarly, you can see all the nodes available in Nuke in these different different categories. If you noticed, most of the nodes have their shortcuts mentioned after their titles. Like color correct shortcut is C and grid is for G. Down here we have node graph where we will work. On the right side we have the properties tab. In properties we will see the settings of each single nodes. There are more panels in Nuke like curve editor where you can see all your animation curves over here and dope sheet. In dope sheet we can adjust the keyframe timing. Suppose if there is a key on frame 20 so you can easily drag those keys to different frame. Just like you drag keys in after effect. In After Effects, it's easy to drag the keys, but in Nuke, you have to come to this top sheet to adjust the keys. Now let's import a video sequence to see how it works. To bring files here in Nuke, we have multiple ways. You can go to this first category over here and select Read. It will pop up this new window to select the footage. Or cancel this, click on the node graph and hit R on your keyboard. That will open up the same window. Or you can simply drag and drop your files over here directly in Nuke. Open the folder in explorer and to import a sequence, drag the folder which contains the sequence. Here you can see by dragging the folder, it creates several read nodes. It is because the folder I imported, it contains multiple folders inside it. Let's delete this. Usually we call the node by hitting R on the keyboard. So hit R. In here, on the left side, we have the shortcuts to different drives. And down here is the file path. Let's go to this footage directory. I have created this shortcut over here that will directly jump to my footage folder. I have covered this folder structure workflow in the next video. Just click once in any of the folder to go inside that folder. Here you can see the sequence. If I go into my directory from the explorer, here you can see I have the sequence. But in the read panel, we can see only one file. That is because Nuke is taking it as a group. If you want to import a particular frame, then you can click on this sequence to disable it. And then you can see all the images separately. Let's import the sequence, enable the sequence pack and double click on the sequence, it will directly import it in the nuke. Now the sequence is imported. In the read node, 
it will show a low res thumbnail of the sequence and also the channels stored in it in the read node you can see one arrow in bottom it is the output of the read node this is how node connection works by connecting effects after the read node now to view any node we have the viewer node to see something we have to connect the result to the viewer node there are multiple ways to call the viewer node first you can go to the side toolbar and select the viewer it will import the viewer in the node graph now we have the viewer node to see through the viewer panel you can connect the read node output to the viewer to see the read node let's delete this viewer second select the read node and press 1 it will automatically connect the read node to the viewer. If there is no viewer, it will automatically import the viewer 